In this video, we'll be adding in a base to our couch. To do this, I'm going to add in a cube. So press Shift A, go to Mesh, and then Cube. And then we'll position this cube underneath the couch so it has some support. So go into the front view by pressing 1, and then I'll press G, and I'll move this cube underneath. And then we'll scale this down. So press S, Z, scale it down, and drag it up till it's right next to the bottom of the couch. There we go. Then go into top view and we'll position this. So press G, Y, we'll drag it forward, right about there. Then go into edit mode. I'm going to go into wireframe so we can see it. And then I'll box select these top vertices, press G, Y, and we'll move them up. Next, I'll go select these side vertices and move them all the way across the couch. So press G and then X, move it all the way over. And then we'll add in a loop cut. So hit Control R, add a loop cut, and we'll move it over to the right. And then we'll finish out by extruding this down to about there. And that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and move everything back just slightly. And not too bad. Now we're going to be adding in a bevel modifier to this. So hit Control A and we'll apply the scale. Then go over to the modifier tab and go bevel. Bring this down to a value of, let's go 0 0.2, I think, somewhere around there. And then we'll turn up the segments to a value of 2 as well. Now let's create the feet of our couch. To do this, I'm just going to be adding in a cube at the bottom of our couch. So place your cursor there, then press Shift A, we'll add in a mesh, and then cube. Scale the cube down until it's about this size, and I'm also going to make it pretty, uh, pretty thin. So press S and Z, scale it down somewhere around there and then just place it right on the corner. So something like that looks pretty good. Next, we'll add in a bevel modifier. So go over to your modifiers tab and click bevel. And also make sure you apply the scale and the bevel is way too high. So let's drag it up to about a 0 0.013, somewhere around there. And then we'll turn the segments up to two. Next, duplicate this and place it on each of the corners. So I'll press Alt D and Y, we'll drag it over this way. And then I'll press Alt D X over here and G Y will move it up to this corner, then Alt D and X and we'll move it to the other side. And then finally we'll place it at the back corner. So Alt D Y and we'll drag it all the way back to about there. Perfect. Okay. So there we go. The modeling is done. And in the next video, we can start creating the materials.